Hey guys, it's Manny. Uh, continuing from the previous video where we connected to the instance through uh, Windows using PuTTY, uh, I wanted to move towards showing you the other two ways that you can connect to your AWS uh, EC2 instance via the AWS uh, UI. So here you want to use uh, select the instance three. That's the last one we used previously. Uh, we want to try to connect. Standalone SSH client, uh, we can't unless we use PuTTY, right? Uh, the sessions manager, you'll see an error like this. We're not able to connect to your instance. Usually it's because, hey, the SSM agent, the instance manager agent, is not installed on the instance, right? And we need it to be installed. And then they'll tell you, hey, well, I think, you know what, what the problem is, is probably your setup on your sessions manager. And that, that could be the case as well. So we'll go over that first, and then we'll go into seeing why the EC2 instance connect, which essentially should work, right? It's a browser-based HTTPS connection. Uh, you'll see that uh, we, we can't type anything. It's kind of like frozen. Uh, what this will do will eventually time out. And uh, even though our security uh, group only allows a connection from our IP, uh, based on, on last video, just to make it more secure, uh, it's it's not working. We're not able to to browse uh, via the, the the browser to it, unfortunately. Unless we make some changes, and that will that's something that we will touch um, second. So close out of that, the instance three, uh, and we'll actually let me go to SSM here. We're just gonna open in a different tab and keep the EC2 instance open. Uh, okay, instance manager, you'll go here. Um, you see manage instances and let's go to session manager because that's the error we saw right that hey your sessions manager might not be set up okay so we're gonna start a session here we can see hey there are no instances which are associated with the required IAM role okay so we need to assign an IAM role that gives the EC2 instance or gives systems manager permission to talk to the EC2 instance right and if you want documentation, uh, you, you can go here and uh, see the different options that, that you have to attach an IAM role to, to an instance, right? Okay, so let's go back to the EC2 instance. The IAM role for this one right now is EC2 full access, and we will go ahead and change that. Um, attach and replace IAM role, okay. So you might have one already created, um, but we're gonna go from, from scratch. So ideally what we want to do is give the EC2 permission or create a role, right, that gives permission for them to talk to, to, to each other. So we're going to create a role. We need to create one for an AWS service and we wanted to use uh, EC2. We're going to go to permissions and then here we're going to get a list of, of a lot of permissions. Um, Showing 702 results. For some reason, I only saw like 20. But I guess, um, we, oh, there we are. Okay. <laughs> it just keeps on. Okay. The scroll bar was, was fairly small. So we want to look for Systems Manager. We're going to look for SSM. And you'll see here, uh, this one's going to be soon be deprecated. So don't use this one. Even though the name kind of tells you, hey, use this me. Use me. Uh, you don't want to use that one. You want to give it a uh, full access and that EC2 role for SSM uh, tells you to use the manage instance score. Uh, what I've done up to now is use both and then we want to click on uh, next then uh, we don't need to do that we just that creating allows just to call it so you have yep uh, just put SSM um, access you can do full access if you want. Full name, SSM, uh, updated, let's say. Or let's call it uh, SSM instance three. Okay, I'm gonna create the role. Okay, now we'll go back to here. We're gonna click on refresh, it will very likely give you that new IAM role that you created, SSM-instance3. I'm going to click on apply. Okay. So this might work right away. You'll be able to maybe see it here. However, what I've noticed is sometimes it just needs it just needs a quick 
reboot, right? Because as you can see here, it already changed the IAM role to SSM instance three. However, what we need to do is just, just reboot it. Um, it just make the changes a little, a little bit faster. Okay. So uh, let's go back to systems manager. Of course, this, this will probably take a little bit to, to come back online. I don't even know if it actually listened to me or not. Okay, so let's I am role SSM instance. It will give you these. Okay, so while that uh, gets resolved, let's go back here. Let's go to Systems Manager, refresh. Uh, it's not. It doesn't seem to be to be rebooting. I'm just gonna click on stop. Yes, I know. I want to stop it. Okay, we'll stop it. Make sure that the I am role is the SSM instance three that you created. Then one of the one of the things that that we can we can take a look at in the meantime is the security group that we have here with the with Launch Wizard two. Now you can see the inbound rules are only hey you can only connect from your IP, which is great. And the view outbound rules you can just go out to anything. Um, Okay, so we'll start this, and then we are going to modify the security group. Okay, as, as you could see before, let me drag this down. Launch Wizard 2 was the right one. We just have to check here, make sure it's this one. Yep, okay. So we're gonna edit the inbound rules. We're gonna create, actually, we're gonna change it. We're gonna say anywhere. This is very bad practice, but just for now, we're going to do it uh, just because I want to show you why for some reason that's that's fixing one of the issues. So we're going to go back to the EC2 instances, right? Uh, instance three. It's still running with the security group launch wizard two. The view inbound rules change now. It's not just our IP, but literally anything outside of the web. Uh, we're going to hit refresh here. Make sure it's initializing, and then we're gonna to try to connect, right? Um, and we're gonna to try to connect via the EC2 instance connect, the browser-based SSH connection. This is gonna work because we just changed that uh, security group rule. Boom. We didn't have to run into any problem. We it, it's still pulling the same IP, but for some reason it wasn't working. So in case you guys run into that problem, it might be an, an issue on AWS's end. Uh, I'm not particularly sure, um, but here, um, let's see. I don't, I don't even, oh, sorry. Last cool, let's go. I'm just gonna, I like to, I like to see something <laughs> sometimes. So I'll, I'll just go back to, uh, to the main, to root and just, just list just so, Hey, there's commands that are working. I'm able to change directories and list what's uh, what's in there. So there you go. So that fixed that. And if if you if you want, we'll just for security purposes, I'm gonna go back into that security group and edit the inbound. And we are going to remove that and put my IP because oh, I don't want this one. I just needed one. I'm not sure why it gave me two. Okay, and now. The IP is back to normal. We will try to connect here one more time. Let's go back to EC2 instances. Then we'll try to connect again. And it'll just time out. All right, so the, those changes that you make to security group are very, uh, very quick. Okay, all right, so now it launched up again. It has the SSM instance uh, set. And the role that we gave it full permissions to it. Let's go to systems manager. This is the sessions manager's location, and we will see that once we change the IAM role on that EC2 instance, boom, now it's showing up under systems manager. That means we have control uh, over this, and uh, essentially, right, if you have different groups, etc., you will be able to manage them from a central location. That's what session manager uh, allows you to do. So you can uh, click on instance uh, three and start session. 
and that that's actually it so again we changed uh, directory ls and look we were making changes this is to the same instance and you can see the instance d85e uh, we'll go back here d85e that's what we're connected to through uh, systematic we're gonna terminate that yep I want to terminate I don't care the connection we're gonna go back to the EC2 instance and then we're gonna try to connect and then now you'll see that sessions manager actually works it doesn't have that horrible message that tells you hey you did not configure anything properly please configure it okay we're gonna connect and it's gonna be the exact same uh, connection right but this is using the systems manager um, and you can see hey who, who am I your SSM dash user you're not logged in as um, the EC2 user that you would be connected through through party okay uh, we're gonna terminate this connection uh, terminating that of course does not terminate the instance uh, I know those sometimes those words can get uh, confusing sometimes uh, but that's it that's all we did so changing the IAM role to SSM to a role that will give you and you'll he see the permissions here SSM managed instance score and SSM full access it will allow you to be able to uh, for for that particular uh, management service to be able to use uh, sessions manager to be able to to remote uh, to the EC2 instance right and that is that is it if you guys have any other questions uh, regarding that or if you would like me to 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 do a video on anything else or any errors um, let me know I did I do have the solutions architect and the sysops administrator uh, certificates for AWS so these those help me and have helped me to troubleshoot things like this that are very minimal or very basic but it's they're so frustrating when you don't know where to look and what to search for that's why again I make these videos to be able to document uh, my problems that I've, that I've had while while in the AWS uh, UI that uh, I haven't really been able to pinpoint clearly uh, what the error was and I was able to to resolve it uh, that way okay uh, have a great day see you